What's up everyone? Kyle from Driving and Vibing here. Today we are finally getting this trailer frame sandblasted, so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel everyone. So today we are getting this thing sandblasted. I am so excited. We are at Marine Exhaust here in Fairhope, Alabama to get the job done. They have a big yard out back. It's right next to the metal shop we're working with. So it was super convenient, but I'm gonna get this tripod set up so we can watch the blasting take place. But the process we're gonna be doing today is just a traditional sandblast with traditional sand. So we're not using any special uh, sandblasting materials other than sand itself. But let's get this project started. Alright guys, just to catch you up on how we got to this point, earlier this year we bought a 1979 Airstream and we wanted to do a total renovation on it and complete it by the end of this year. But in order to do it the way we wanted to, we really had to address some of the issues on the frame. With this said, we had to perform the full Monty. In the Airstream world, the full Monty means removing the shell from the frame. This is done in a many different ways. You can see us here though, we decided to build a wooden structure on the inside that would make sure the shell stayed secure during the lifting process. And once that wooden frame was built, we then put jacks underneath it and lifted from the frame up. And this would let us remove the shell completely from the frame. So in this video right here, you can see the beginning of that process lifting the Airstream shell off the frame. It was slightly terrifying. If you want to watch this video, I'll link it above right here. But again, it's happening slowly and carefully, but it will let us get to this point where we can eventually easily pull out the frame. And once we pull out the frame right here, as you can see, we can now sandblast it, re-weld it, and get it up to the perfect condition to hit the road. But back to the sandblasting. All right, y'all, so we are refilling the sand right now. The first bag is all up, but uh, it's looking good. It's nice to see this uh, frame and uh, finally not with rust on it. So we're getting closer. So while the sandblasting was going on, we also had this other project going on where we were making a new door for our fiber stream camper. This door was being made with an awesome fiberglass coating on the outside, much like surfboards are made. I'll link that video above if you want to see it. But I'll tell you what, it was a challenging time getting back and forth between these two projects on opposite sides of town during the same day. The door turned out beautiful though. So make sure you check that video out. But back to sandblasting, y'all. 
All right, y'all, so the sandblasting is almost complete. I'm gonna take you in and show you the final product of what we're looking at. They have about 10 more minutes of sandblasting to do, but it is looking beautiful. So come on back here and let me show you how good this frame is looking. y'all what did you think about that trailer i was thinking it was looking pretty good but i did show you those spots on the video where the metal was totally deteriorated now those are the spots where i talked about earlier in a few videos back where we're gonna put plates down on the frame to really reinforce it and the thinking behind that was so that piece of metal is kind of like a c in the bottom of that c on the front is really deteriorated in lots of spots so rather than piecing that uh, kind of c-plate the bottom of it back together i thought along with the welder that if we just put a solid plate triangular plate in each of these spots we could really solve that issue not only replacing where the metal has been lost in those c channels on the bottom but also just reinforcing the frame so that is what we plan to do um, right there where all that deterioration has taken place. But also you probably saw that the hitch looks very nice now. I need to do some research about how to paint that hitch though without it just scraping off every time it's in use. So we really want to use that original one rather than try to put a whole new one on there. And with it sandblasted, it's looking in good condition. So we are going to be able to use it, but I just need to figure out how to treat it. And lastly, once we bring it over to the welders, we're gonna be giving it a lift, which will be very awesome. And I was taking the axles out, the new ones out, and inspecting them today, and they just look so beautiful with every uh, you know piece of equipment. It's looking so nice and new, which is great. So this trailer is gonna be coming together very quickly. I don't think we're gonna to get to the part that I wanna get done with the subfloor in before we leave to go to Texas, but at least it will be ready to have the subfloor installed by that point. I think we'll finish up all the welding by the end of this week and have the trailer back in our own yard. Thanks so much for watching though, guys. That is the video today. Sandblasting finally done and I'm thrilled about it. Uh, make sure you tune in tomorrow. We'll have another video out for you. See you then guys later on